Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Rita Slanina. I am an actress and author, and today we're going to learn how to create some reels or shorts really fast and easily. Let's just hop right into it. And welcome if you're new here. All right, the first things first, we are going to move the finished video file to our phone. I use Dropbox to move them manually. You can just airdrop or if it's already on your phone, perfect. Or you can use your iCloud. However you get it to your phone, that is where we're going to do. Today we're using the iPhone 11 Pro. There are a few tried and true free apps that I per personally like to use. To get started, we're going to use the Video Shop app. It is free. There is a paid version. We're going to import our clip, that same video file that we moved from our desktop to our phone. There we have our full clip inside the Video Shop app. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to split this video up into several clips. Now, if you're familiar with software editing for video, you kind of already know what the cut, split, and trimming options are. If you're not aware, we're only going to use the cut option today and the split option. And we'll go into more of that in a minute. So now we're going to search through the video and figure out where we want to pull clips from. I would say ideally you would want a few clips, maybe three to five different video clips. Once you have found your selection, you're just going to save it to your camera roll. And then you're going to repeat this process. So you will have to re-import the full video several times because when you do use the feature of cut, it will remove that video. There's no other way to save that in Video Shop that I'm aware of. However, that's okay. It takes only a few seconds to pull the original video back in and sort of start fresh. So for this next clip, you can see that I'm using the split option. So this helps me find where in the video I want to kind of isolate the clip I'm looking for without losing the entire video. And then I will delete the section that I'm not going to use after I have split the video. So choose your platform. I always go with TikTok. So we're going to start with TikTok here. I choose all the clips that I've just created with the Video Shop app and I use the auto cut feature that TikTok offers. This saves so much time on deciding how to put them together. And then I just choose the music to overlay that they've given me. Sometimes the music options and their auto cut feature isn't what I want. In that case, what I would do is just import the clips and add the music manually in the order that you would like. Then of course, we would like to put a fun little catchy caption and add our hashtags uh, so we can adequately have a video that is discoverable. So now that your reel has been posted to TikTok, save that video from TikTok before or after the post if you prefer or don't prefer the little stamp of TikTok on there. When you go posting them around, I try to save the video before it posts so that I don't have the TikTok stamp on there. Uh, that being said, go into your next platform. I'm choosing Instagram here. And I'm going to essentially repeat the process, but I will be choosing music from that platform. Not all music is free to use on every platform. Um, you can find that out the hard way or just sort of use their music libraries per platform is just what I do. And um, that seems to be a, a safe option. Finding trending songs and using the filter and overlay options on each platform is also a helpful way to boost your visibility in the algorithm per platform. 
Um, I learned this about six months ago, um, but it seems to still be working. So I just use, I sort of just adjust each reel or short per platform. We're only going to be covering these two platforms today, but you get the idea. Okay, so pick a eye-catching cover, double check your profile grid to see what it's going to look like. Now when using hashtags on Instagram, it is best practice to use no more than about five to eight hashtags, I believe. Otherwise it confuses the algorithm if you use more than that. Also use Hashtags that have no more, no less than 50,000 posts to no more than 250,000 posts. This also helps you with your algorithm. Use locations and topics. Okay, to make a story, I just use the posted video and I hit the little paper mail icon and turn this exact same post into a story and I just sort of fluff it up. Now I will save this to my camera roll and reuse this on stories on Facebook, but I will again utilize the functions like words, filters, overlays, stickers, and different music in the stories as well. Thank you for watching. I'm going to leave you with a few examples of some reels and shorts that performed quite well in my opinion. These are apps that I use. Nobody is paying me to tell you about them and they have performed very well for me even though they are mostly free apps. Thank you for watching. If this was helpful, please comment in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.